What's going on guys? T2RX6 here back for another Machine Robo Rescue Review. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Machine Robo 01, uh, Hyper Jet Robo, and Machine Robo Hyper Shuttle Robo number 8. Um, again, got these guys off of SirToys.com. Uh, again, another really nice transaction there. Got another free uh, figure with it, so yeah, it's pretty awesome. Uh, and these guys are super addictive. There's a lot more of these guys I have downstairs. Well, I think I've got four more downstairs. And uh, yeah, like two more that are on their way uh, that I can't wait to review. So I chose to do these guys together because as you can see, Shuttle Robo on the right here and Jet Robo are the same exact molds. What actually differentiates these guys here is the accessories. So, Jet Robo only comes with these little accessories here, which I found out can all clip together like this. But I don't see any clear reason why you would want to do that aside from just storing it because the instructions certainly don't say anything about it, but definitely clips together. Now what these can do is you can take these space shuttles, and let's just take a look at them here. Just a nice little tiny shuttle here. And you can just kind of clip these on down here so they're carrying, I don't know, missiles or lasers and works like a landing gear basically for them. Like so. And that's that's what you get with Jet Robo 1. And I do feel like Jet Robo also has the much nicer looking paint job. Uh, from my understanding of Machine Robo, I haven't really watched it, but um, the Jet is like your main character. Let's take a look at Shuttle Robo here. Now, what differentiates him, like I said, is accessories. So you get these two accessories here, and these four blue bits here and what you can do with this is you can take them and you peg them onto the ports on the side rotate these wings down just a tiny bit and when you peg these on like so you can see you actually get a very different looking toy because of this uh, combined thing and this is really how shuttle robo is supposed to look uh, something kind of, you know, it looks like it kind of fell out of a Star Wars movie or something like that. Um, sort of got the X-Wing thing going on there. And it definitely helps differentiate between your Jet Robo and your Shuttle Robo. And that's not where the similar or the differences end when it comes to accessories. As you saw with the uh, Jet Robo drones or whatever they are, you had that little landing gear. For these guys, it's a touch different. So you got these four pieces like this, and they're basically identical uh, halves here. And you can just kind of connect these together. And you can give these to one of your uh, jets if you want. You really can't give it to one. Um, I'll show you. If we were to take this off, the back one would work just fine. He's going to hover or balance on that perfectly. But if you put the front one, it really doesn't work because when you put him down, he's just going to tilt backwards. So you can kind of combine these things here like this and just kind of give both of these to one specific uh, shuttle there. And we'll combine these ones here. Let's just give it to uh, number five here. But then you can also take these and combine it this way and this is where it gets really quite interesting because then you can take uh, four here and it really doesn't matter which order you go and we'll just fold up these wings for now and you can peg these on like this so now you've got all four of the drones attached here then you're gonna take these wings and half fold them out so they all cross together which to me that just looks really cool this uh, tail fin thing here just like that and then you can actually take this one step further and connect it to the foot peg holes of uh, our shuttle robo and now you got a really impressive looking vehicle mode here that certainly differentiates itself from 
what I would say the uh, jet and his uh, swarm of drones looks like. So that's pretty cool. I really like uh, Shuttle Robo. I, I was a little disappointed when I pulled him out and realized that he was exactly the same mold because uh, I saw these pieces when I looked at them online. But once I put it all together, it totally made up for it. So the transformation of these guys, of course, is ridiculously simple. And we will, let's start with our core jet robo here. So what we're going to do here is just kind of rotate his legs on around like so. And you can fold his wings back like that. Fold these out and then flip his head. And there you go, you got Jet Robo. And if you recognize him, he looks an awful lot like Fightor from GoBots. And that's because Jet Robo was Fightor in uh, Japan. So uh, yeah, there you go. There's our uh, leader guy and we'll just take one of his drones I'm not gonna do all the drones and you fold the wings up so they meet like this you pull that out the little arms are here on uh, just a little rotation you flip his head around and there you go you got his uh, minions or drones or whatever they're supposed to be uh, I haven't watched the fiction same thing goes for shuttle robo exactly the same transformations here and what you do differently for this guy, and this is a little difficult because this piece really likes to grip, so I find that I have to kind of wiggle it around until it pops out of that connection. And then what we'll do is swivel this um, around just to kind of get it out of the way of your legs. And then swivel the legs down all the way. And this guy has a little bit tighter legs than my Jet Robo has. There we go. Bring that down. And then, I'm not a huge fan of this. You're going to kind of bring this and get it so you can rotate his head around, of course. And then, this just kind of sits on the front like that. And does ultimately look kind of weird as it draws out his chest a bit more. But, that's okay. At least they're a little bit different. Uh, in this mode, there's really nothing you can do with either of these accessories. So, to take these guys to their combined mode, what you're supposed to do is put these back in, like so. And you're going to take his uh, arms and tuck them behind his shoulders again, like that. Oh, let me show the articulation on these guys before we do this. So. This is a very simple toy. You do have a little bit of uh, side to side on the legs here just to kind of get that more A stance going on. You have rotation of the arm and for transformation there's a little bit in the head. And that's it. It's very much like an old GoBot and that totally is right up my alley. So anyway, combined mode. We're going to put this like that and we'll just leave him little stumpy torso here. Uh, for this guy, it's a little bit different. We're still going to bring his legs up, but we'll rotate his arms back first. Then we'll bring these little leg pieces up. And you're going to take this piece and just kind of connect it back together in front of his body. And you can kind of do whatever you want with the fins on the back. So we'll put that like that. To get these guys into their foot mode, you're going to basically turn it into a shuttle. And then you want to rotate this down like that. So here's one that's in the shuttle mode. We'll fold that up. Rotate this down like that. So you still have the front piece. And rotate the shuttle around. So there you go. We got two feet. To put these in their arm mode, also very simple. Just fold this up and then flip the fist on around. And we'll do that again over here, like so. And we take for shuttle robo, we take these and separate them apart and then just kind of, uh, whoops, wrong way. Place them on the back of your foot for like an extra little, almost like a heel spur, I guess. 
it ultimately doesn't make too big of a difference. You can stand them without it. And then these will kind of become weapons once we get them all combined. So, exactly the same thing for these guys. Let's go ahead and get them done. Here's one foot. Take this off. Two feet. One arm. And I love how quick you can just kind of mess with these guys. And then it's just a matter of just like the previous ones I showed you. Uh, fire Robo, Hyper Fire Robo, and Hyper Police Robo. You just kind of peg them into the ports and you could mix and match these as you see fit. And these are just a lot of fun to mess with. Now, just like you had the heel spurs with the uh, shuttle robo, you can now take these and uh, plug them back here for a little bit of extra support. But actually, I like to make this a little different. Since you have this port on the bottom that doesn't get used for, for anything, I like to pop these guys out and put this like that in the bottom to give them just kind of some feet something a little bit different and then you're supposed to take these other two and they plug into the shoulders like shoulder launchers or something of the sort and there we go we got our hyper jet robo and then for shuttle we plug these in down here same exact way plug in his arms like so and then we take these accessories and you just kinda you flip them upside down and you plug them in to the ends of the hands here and now he's got his two weapons and that is uh, jet hyper jet robo and hyper shuttle robo if you want a little bit of extra height um, you can still of course fold these out and I do I don't know, I go back and forth on the extensions, having them extended or not, just to get a little bit of extra height out of these guys. Um, I don't think it looks as good on Jet Robo as it does for some. So, we'll just leave these back in. That's really all there is to say about these guys. They're very simple toys, they're very fun, and pretty darn affordable. I, they ran me, I think... $16 on Sir Toys. Um, yeah, really not bad. Just for comparison here, and as I get the other ones in here, I will pull out all the ones that we've already gone over, so you'll see these guys yet again. There is our Police Robo. And a Fire Robo right here. I like these guys. They're just so much fun to mess with. Little desk toys that are super quick and easy to transform. And uh, I like them. Let's actually... Let's take my fan mode away. And just kind of put these how they're supposed to. Just for accurate size comparisons, I suppose. There we go. So yeah, I like these guys. I think if you're a fan of GoBots, you should definitely pick them up. And uh, I'll probably see you next week with two more of these guys. So, hope you have a good week.